Hi guys, it's Teresa. Welcome back to my channel. So if you've been following my channel for a while, you will probably know that I don't really do um, a lot of TBR videos, mainly because I find it really difficult to decide like so far ahead of time what I'm gonna be in the mood for reading. But I thought I would give it a shot this year because I think given that I have such a, such a huge TBR and since I was struggling kind of quite a bit at the end of last year with like finish, not finishing a lot of books that I'd been starting, I thought it would maybe be helpful and like maybe just a good idea to just try it out to do TBR videos and like set myself like 10 books every month that I want to read and it's not supposed to be something where like I have to read these books just um, kind of like a moment for me to like look at my TBR shelf think of what I might want to read like for the next 30 days or so and then pick some books based on that and then just throughout the month trying to focus on those before we get started though please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and upload every Tuesday Friday and Sunday right now so you know that's a lot of videos every week and you really don't want to miss out the first book I would really love to read this month is The Diviners by Libba Bray I got this a couple months ago and uh, I've been putting it off because it's a little bit longer but honestly I have like lots of holidays in February so a lot more free time and um, I think I really want to give it a shot I hope I like it I know it has a lot of characters in it which is typically kind of a turnoff for me I don't like it I'm finding that that setup makes it much more difficult for each individual person to have like a significant like um, relevant personality so I don't know how I'm gonna feel about it but I definitely want to give it a shot let me know if you've read it what you thought and if you think I'll enjoy it because I'm actually really really excited to try out this world. So you're gonna be able to tell through the, this video that I'm trying to like include quite a few different genres just so that I don't get bored or that I have like a plan for each possible scenario of like me being in a certain kind of mood. So the next book is The Midwitch Cuckoos by John Wyndham. I don't know, is this weird fiction? What would you call this? I'm not sure, or is it sci-fi? I have actually no idea, but it's about aliens and it's really short and uh, I hope I enjoy it. Also, as you might know, I do Project TBR for the whole year, so I'm also gonna include one of the books from that list in every one of my monthly TBRs. And this month I'm choosing Black Like Me by John Howard Griffin a book I've tried to read multiple times but so far have not gotten very far. It's never been like an issue that I had with the book and more an issue with the timing of when I was picking it up. So I'm really hoping this time around it's gonna finally be a successful endeavor. If you didn't know, this is a non-fiction book about a man in the 1950s who um, painted his face black and his skin black and just like tried to live as a black person in America. This entire project would not fly in 2019, but I think it's still like an interesting concept and I'm really excited to see his sort of resolution um, and, and what he kind of comes up with. So yeah, I'm gonna hopefully get to this very soon. Another informal goal I have set myself for the year is that I want to try and finish some series that I've started because I'm really bad with that. Like I lose track of it or like I somehow lose interest and it just doesn't happen because I have so many other books to distract me. So again, trying to focus on that this year. So this next book is Red Queen by Christina Henry. This is the sequel to Alice. I read that back in October and I really, really enjoyed it. And um, it's a duology, so it's a very short series, so I shouldn't have any major issues finishing it this month. Um, yeah, I don't know how the story develops. It's basically a gothic story inspired by Alice's adventures in Wonderland, not necessarily a retelling because the story follows completely different events, events, but it does obviously take some inspiration from the original fairy tale. So I think it's the first book was really, really well done and I'm really excited to see where the second one goes. I'm also going to try and finish the Broken Earth trilogy by N.K. Jemisin. Um, the second book is called The Obelisk Gate and the last book is called The Stone Sky. So I read um, what's it called? <laughs> I just forgot. The fifth season, the first book. I read the fifth season at the end of December and because of that I think 
it kind of flew a little bit under the radar on my channel because at that time I was devoting so much time and energy to talking about my reading year as a whole. So um, yeah, I'm hoping to continue and finish the series in February and I might do a complete um, trilogy review. If you'd be interested in seeing that, let me know. And yeah, I can't wait to see where the story goes. I'm really excited. I had mixed feelings about the first book, but more about the writing style than about the story. So yeah. I hope uh, now that I'm sort of used to the writing style, I'm going to have less issues with the sequels. The next book I would love to read is called Seirei no Moribito. This is a Japanese um, fairy tale. It's the first book in a series. And uh, my friend gave this to me as a Christmas present. She said this was her favorite, my Japanese friend, she said that this was her favorite um fairy tale like fantasy story as a child it's not a fairy tale it's a fantasy story favorite fantasy story as a child and it's written for children so it's um oh, hopefully easier and it also has um the you know transcriptions of lots of the um characters that are used so it should be like easier to read it like more fluently and hopefully again the language shouldn't be too demanding so i'm excited to get to it the next book i want to read was a very spontaneous purchase i think back in november or something like that and um, i really was attracted to it instantly but then just didn't pick it up because again my reading at the end of 2018 was a little bit all over the place so i think I want to try and read it in February, and that is The Map of Salt and Stars by Jennifer Seinab and, uh, sorry, Jennifer Seinab Jokadar, if that's how you pronounce her name. So the book is set in Syria, and I think it follows two perspectives at two different times in, like, Syrian history, like one that's current and one that's, I don't know, sometime in the, uh, in the past. And, um, I'm really, really excited to try it out. It, first of all, the cover is gorgeous, and the story sounds really, really interesting as well, so, yeah. I hope to get to this in February. If you have read this, let me know actually, because I don't think I've seen it anywhere on booktube before. So yeah, let me know your thoughts. Second to last, I have the song Rising by Samantha Shannon. The main reason I wanna finally pick this up is because last year, I think I reread The Mime Order in order to read this book, which is the third in the series. And the second time around, I didn't really enjoy The Mime Order all that much. I was feeling like I was kind of falling out of love with the series, so I still want to give this third book a go. I still want to like at least try, and if I really can't do it, then I'll like DNF it or whatever, but I just want to try, and I think the longer I wait, the more I'll again forget the events of the Mime Order, and I'm definitely not gonna reread it again so i think i should really really try and read this this month and then um you know i'll give you my final thoughts on the series if i'll be continuing it or not because right now i'm leaning towards not unfortunately and then the final book i would really love to read in february is the silkworm by robert galbraith um this is the second book in the cuckoo's calling series and somebody i don't even know months ago left a comment saying i should read this in the winter time because it's very atmospheric and very well suited to the winter time in that respect so i really want to try and get this in before spring <laughs> so that's really the main reason why i want to read it i also tend to be quite um quick when reading mystery or thrillers because you know they're obviously hopefully structured in a way where you want to keep reading want to keep knowing what happens next so yeah i don't think this should be much of a time sink um even though it's f almost 400 pages but yeah i just realized now that i did pick quite a few like longer books um especially for this one it's gonna take me a while so i'm not you know under the illusion that i'll actually read all of these but i'll try my best okay um I, as i said i should be having a lot more time to read in february i hope i actually stick to my tbr but as i said i'm not gonna you know force myself into anything please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe and i will see you very soon with another video until then have a lovely week bye